uh, as you all know in my previous video i have uh, described how the way we can uh, uh, include our service contract data contract and a data member within a data contract also the different methods that are called as operational methods in within our service contract uh, that what i have included in my previous uh, video now in this video what i am going to explain is uh, in, if you all know that uh, in my previous video i have declared one interface and i have implemented it in my uh, employee service and in this video i am going to demonstrate different methods that we can use in my employee service in order to get the data uh, to add an employee or to remove an employee this is a simple wcf application in which i am going to uh, describe different operation of a service that we can do so i am just opening the project that i have previously created as you can see here it's a my service that i have created previously in my, uh, my video so uh, as you can see that i have uh, last i have first and let's go go for what i have covered in last video i have created one employee entity class in which i have entity like id first name age and designation and city as you all know the city is not a data member so i cannot access it where i implement this employee entity as a data contract i am just changing the id integer to string as i am going to take id as a guid it's a generated id which is in a string this is the interface i have declared in which i have i have three different operation contract that is get employee add employee and remove employee i'm again i have to change this to string now this is the my main service where I, I have implemented this interface and all the methods within this interface now yet i have not written any code for this method so first of all i am just going to write the code for all these methods and one by one i will invoke this method and we can see what exactly the service is being provided by the project that we have created first of all let's get list of employee in order to get a list of employee i have to just change and i am i am returning the list of employees emp list as you all can see i have already declared employee list over here i am returning the list of all the employee entities object uh, uh, filled in this list and uh, returning it in with the help of my get employee operation contract now another another method is i, I want to add an employee in order to add an employee i will just declare i have to first assign the id id equal to guid dot new id dot to string now I have assigned my ID as a uh, from my uh, GUID. Now I have to add this object to my employee list. So I am adding this object to my employee list as OBJ employee list identity. So whenever I will, uh, whenever I invoke this add employee method, it is going to add a new record into my list. So as and when, as many time of uh, time I call this method, as many number of my records are inserted in my employee list. So this is the process of uh, uh, add employee. Again, I need to change the data type of ID here also. I am converting into a string. Now I want to remove a particular particular ID from my list. So employee ID dot remove employee list dot find. A dot dot id equals the id i pass as 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 you can see i have i have used a uh, uh, link queue operator which is a delegate operator